hi welcome back to my channel arsima is with you today again today i would like to show you the look that you saw previously so let's do it together so at here i'm using pink pot from mac which is in ground black i'm applying it with two to one brush Uh, now I'm using texture eyeshadow just to contour or to get a dimension for my ID. Um, blending this eyeshadow all over my like I'm trying to get like I'm not applying exactly on my crease. I'm going above my crease and I'm blending it under my on my lower eyes, which is to get that warm look this eyeshadow it's a it's a little bit of orangey warm tone eyeshadow now i'm using black black stroke eyeliner from mac so i'm doing my eyeliner this is how i do my eyeliner this is the easiest way for me to do i just uh, follow my lower uh, lash line and then draw the line after that it's easy for me to draw the other lines and i easily connect the eyeliner i'm trying to do a little bit bold eyeliner for my eyes as you, as you can see the struggle is real i'm trying to balance it from each and every corner now we are almost there We're done I did the other eyeliner off camera so I will not take that much time. Now I'm using this eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow from MAC again just to line it on top of my eyeliner. Just a line. So it gives it like that. I will say a fancy uh, something different. you can see that once i apply this liquid eye shadow as eyeliner it looks uh, more enhanced the eyeliner. that's the reason why i did that Now again, I'm taking this liner and I'm applying it on the corner of my eyes to give that, that dimension and to highlight my inner corner. Now once I have done that, I'm using my lash cover to curl my lashes. I'm using again my favorite mascara from MAC. And once that's done, I'm using this Devoted to Chili uh, eyeshadow just to make it more warm and to match my lipstick. It's a like orangey red tone so i'm doing that on my eye on my above my crease to get that warm depth of uh, eye look that i wanted so so here we are done with the eye makeup let's do now my eyebrow so eyebrows as you know always i brush my eyebrows upward before i start shaping them so that's what you have to do all the time so you can see the gaps and where you have to fit and you don't have to fit everything for me here i'm feeling my eyebrow but my hands are very soft because i don't want my eyebrow to look very dark or unnatural so i'm trying my best uh, to fill it softly so i'll do the same thing in my other side of eyebrow now i'm feeling the gaps that i have and combine it black i 
right so what do you think for me i like the look that's what i have done today i hope you like it and you enjoy it so thank you so much for subscribing and sharing my youtube channel thank you bye bye